Hi Sagittarius, so today I'm going to be doing you guys this general love readings. These are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus signs. Don't forget to go follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below. Also, if you're feeling called to donate or just give back and support the channel, the Cash App and PayPal links will be in the description box below as well. Check out the disclaimer of this video. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I love every last one of you guys. Thank you guys for making me feel so loved and so special constantly. I really love you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys so much. You guys make me be able to connect, scream, yell, cuss without judging me. This is like a very safe space, and you're all like my therapist, and I love you guys so much. And I really appreciate you guys more than you know. Also, thank you for 5K because we are hitting milestones over here. We're constantly growing. We're constantly evolving. We're all shining now. So let's see what we got for Sagittarius because we got a lot of hating ass people. I had to call out a lot of fake friends here. And I'm not one to get angry or talk bad about anybody, but I just hate how... I let people lie to me for years, you know, and you think you're friends with somebody when they're really jealous of you and they cause you to have a lot of good things coming in your life, fuck up. And all you can do is sit there and be a bad bitch because what else can I do? You can't let things bother you anymore. You got to let some shit go and just dust some shit off. The people that did shit to you going to be thinking they're going to be regretting it. They're going to be worried about what they've done to you because once they see you succeeding they're gonna wish they were sitting at that table with you but i'm sorry you got left behind at table three i'm in table one you don't sit here with me no more <clears throat> some of y'all about to realize a lot of people you thought were your friends were deceiving you were stabbing you in your back texting you making you seem as if they were really interested in getting to know you but these motherfuckers was deceitful Cut the snakes out the grass ASAP. If you feel like a motherfucker lying to you, don't keep going back to them. Readers, friends, family. You leave them motherfuckers where they at. Leave them right where they belong. Because not everybody got true intentions for you and it's crazy. Hey guys, what do we have for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Love, spirit guides. Love. These people that did you wrong, just know karma comes back around. They never miss anybody. What do we have for Sagittarius regarding love? You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer, or they can have those placements. I'm here in October, so Scorpio season is, Scorpio season is very significant. So, guys, what do we have for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Sag. So it looks to me like somebody's watching you, spying on your into and um, somebody's watching you from a higher point of view. Like I definitely feel like this could be somebody from a high perspective. There's also a lot of people just watching you, Sag. I feel like there's a lot of people who are watching you. I definitely feel like you got a secret admirer. This person's not really a secret admirer, but I feel like this person wants to talk to you. This is definitely somebody who's trying to learn you. They're trying to clear up any type of confusion. This person may even still be a little confused. It's like, I feel like this is not somebody who has pursued you or has said anything yet. This could be like a friend type of energy, but this person's definitely holding back, but they're watching you they're observing you they're trying to find out information about you they definitely want to know more about you and why maybe you're so disconnected why you're so detached why you're so um you know shut off emotionally why don't you experience love why don't you date there's a lot of people who um they're trying to not really questioning you but they want to know because this is somebody who wants to learn you like i definitely don't get a bad vibe from this person i just feel like you got somebody who's watching you trying to figure you out they're trying to learn you they like what they see they feel like they it's more to learn from you there's more there when they watch you they learn so there could also be some people watching you copying you or trying to mimic you but they can't but there's definitely could be younger people watching you as well. But there's a lot of people watching you. You got a lot of eyes on you right now. Some of you guys, you got the authorities watching you. Because you dealt with somebody who is emotionally abusive. So there could have been like a domestic violence type of case. And you could have recently just got out of a bad marriage for some of you. That's not for everybody, but for some of you. I also feel like you got somebody from your past watching you, wanting to reconnect with you as well for some of you. Okay, spirit guides, give me more. 
And I said somebody's watching you from the higher up. So this could be God just watching you as well. Like looking down on you, seeing you grow. Let's see. What what else do we have, Sag? Okay. So Sagittarius, I feel like there's somebody who's watching you over social media. They feel like something's not over. Or there's somebody here from your past. Yeah. Who's watching you as well. They may be in their feelings or they may have held back a lot about... Um, how they feel. I feel like they're struggling to move forward. They're, they're struggling to let you go and it's becoming a challenge every day. I definitely feel like you got somebody watching you feeling like something's not over. Like there's something still missing. Like they don't want things to be done. They don't want to move on. They want to come back and they want to make things right or they want to mend things with you. Um, this is somebody who feels like they, they struggle more and more to release you. They've watched you for so long and they just feel like they, they're they trying to learn more about you before they reconnect with you. I definitely feel like this is somebody who's watching from the outside. They feel, they definitely feel left out. This could also be like a baby father, very absent, or a karmic masculine, or a karmic soulmate, or a divine twin, if y'all want to say that, whoever you, however you call this person. This person's thinking about a lot of good memories with you and thinking about the past a lot and really wanting to reconnect with you. I feel like this person feels like this is not over and they want to express something to you or they want to apologize for being... For some of you guys, I'm getting like a very domestic type of energy for some of you. And that's why you're being watched because the authorities is watching this person. Maybe because they're not supposed to be nowhere near you or your home or your children. But this person still struggles to um, let you go. I definitely feel like there's also somebody here that was not the best partner to you this was somebody who was very arrogant they went against authority this person could have even thought they were better than you and they just didn't have any type of control over their life very reckless dealing with multiple people not caring if they hurt you or not they owe you an apology a sincere apology they definitely want to reconnect with you and give you some type of apology here because they know that you you are owed this i feel like they they don't want things to be over with you they, they want to reconnect with you some of you guys on a more emotional type level, like, I definitely feel like this is somebody who's determined, like, this person wants to come in quickly, um, this person has been really watching you and really been observing you, really gaining a lot of clarity here about this situation, I feel like this person wants to speak some type of truth to you, they're tired of watching, they're tired of sitting around moping, they're tired of feeling hopeless about the situation, it's something that they gotta get off their mind, whether... Whether you believe them or not, whether you have faith in this connection or not, whether this can be healed or, or not, I definitely feel like they want you to listen to what they have to say because they have something to say to you. They want to say something to you. Maybe if this is even clarity, like somebody's determined to come and commit to communicate to you. They want to express something to you, whether this be something they did to you in the past or whether this be some someone that they allow to disrespect you. This is somebody that's like, okay, I'm going to stand in my power. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to take the initiative to do what's right. I'm seeing things differently now. I'm more I'm more aligned with myself. I'm more at peace. I'm more patient now. And so it's like I'm ready to reconnect, Sag, because there's something I want to tell you. I got to get something off my mind. I just have to be able to heal something with you or make amends with you, you know. I'm just tired of things not working out i'm tired of this change i'm tired of you know i'm tired of feeling ignored by you you know i'm tired of this defensive attitude you have i miss when you were caring and loving and i miss when you were we were able to connect with one another i don't want this thing to be over but i definitely feel like there's an understanding we made to have i know you're going through a lot i know you got a lot of good things coming in your life and you don't give a damn about me no more but there's something i really want to make right for you like i really want to make something right I just want to be able to tell you how I feel or express to you how I feel, even if you don't feel the same way. I just really need to tell you this. I just really need to make things right. I just really need to say something to you. Listen, if this is not the... I'm saying, like, there's going to be a past person wanting to come in and give you some type of swift communication. This is, like, a very honest communication, though. Like, you're going to actually see things from this person's point of view you're gonna understand okay maybe i understand where you're coming from because there's somebody who wants to reconnect with you this person's being patient and they just want to align themselves with you they just want to make things right 
okay they just want to make things right they want their karma to go they just want good karma in order for that to happen they know that they need to make something right with you because they can't fully close something out unless they actually say something to you or tell you what they've been wanting to tell you and they gaining more determination to come in and actually do that you also have the universe like you got somebody who's in love with you. I feel like you got an ex watching you and a new lover watching you. And this new lover is going to take you on a new journey. This person's taking their time, but they really want to commit to you. They really want to be with you. They're going to put in very hard work. They could be, um, you may not be too happy in this current circumstances with this newer lover here. I feel like things are going to go in your way. And you're going to have whatever it is you want. I definitely feel like you got somebody who's in love with you, even if this person has not expressed it or not. This person does have feelings for you. But there's this energy of, like, there's a past person who's going to try to come back, too, because this person has a lot to say to you. They have some stuff they want to say. I definitely feel like this ex is looking at this new lover like, fuck you. Like, you know, I don't think he, they like this person, but, I mean, it's not about them liking this person. It didn't work out with the two of you guys, so this person can't tell you who to invest in or who to build with. Why is this King of Cups energy here? Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely wanting to reach out to you or extend some type of offer to you or give you some type of offer. But I feel like in a way, like, you've been looking forward. You've been moving forward. You've been, you know, visioning yourself being married or committed to someone who's very reliable or very strong or very loyal. You know, they don't dr have drama or they don't got people competing for them. They're loyal. You don't got to worry about this person dealing with other people. I definitely feel like this is somebody who is very trustworthy. Now, what does this King of Wands energy, this ex, want to say to Sagittarius? Um, this person wants to tell you, like, I understand you've given up on this connection. I understand you want nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. But I want you to know that I'm no longer involved with someone that I used to deal with. This person's like, I'm no longer involved with this karmic energy. I let this person go. I've moved on. I'm moving forward in my life because I definitely want something new with you. You know, like, I definitely want something new with you. I know that you pretty much let me go as well, but I really can't move on. Like, what about all the passion? What about the love? What about the desire? What about the chemistry that me and you once had? Like, this was what somebody said. It's like, don't get mad at me because I'm just a messenger. It's like I'm getting rid of anybody who's ever played mind games. I'm getting rid of all these people. Like, I don't want to fight for these toxic connections anymore. I feel like you're my match. You're the one for me. But then, Sag, it's like you let this person go and you're starting a new journey somewhere else. And it may actually make you sad here because you wanted to really give this person the world. You did. You wanted to. But... I feel like it's going to be a challenge. Like, when this person come back, you're going to be stressed the hell out because you're going to be like, you know, in a way you hated that this person lied to you or this person just couldn't be what you wanted this person to be in the past. And now it's like that. Now that you got new love in your energy, it's like this person wants to make something work, but it's like it's pretty much over now because now that you have someone new in your life that's going to genuinely love you, this person is working very hard. This person may be acting a little nonchalant, but... This masculine energy is definitely here to bring you new love, stability, while more so this ex is just so strictly focused on the passion that the two of you once had. Like, yeah, you'll both look good together. Yeah, you'll have amazing sex, but that's it. Like, there's only these past memories that's keeping you two together. And then it's like, with this new lover, it's like, it's going to be more stable. Like, you're going to have a family. It's going to be love here stability new cars homes new opportunities and things like that it's like one is looking for passion one is more so just looking for the chemistry or the way that you will go well with them because you're looking good you're looking sexy you blowing up but this new love is like okay i'm focusing on my money right now i can't give you all the time in the world that you need but i'm trying to build something stable for us you know so you can tell that they're both on two different energies, but you're more so focusing on this newer love. Like, regardless of the chemistry that you and this um, past person share, you just don't have feelings for this person anymore. You're just not in love with this person. You don't believe that this person genuinely wants to, a relationship with you. You definitely don't believe anybody wants to commit to you, which is why you're, like, in a way, you're stressed out. I also feel like you could be stressed out because it's just like, you know... You've avoided this person for so long, and 
you just feel like it's oh you're over it you pretty much let this person go so it's not like you want anything with them but they are watching you and they want to be with you but they know that you got other people or they just was not happy this person's not going to be happy this person's going to get fucking angry sag and they're getting more and more angry because they can't control you because they can't you not gonna do what they tell you to do because they don't got that control over you because they're angry because you won't go or do things in the way that they want you to do things but they never committed to you it was always passion and you're not even attracted to them sexually they can't even satisfy you in bed it wasn't stable there was no relationship here it's like why are you trying to come back now why are you trying to come back now don't try to come back and think you're going to try to restore balance when you were never giving me anything in regard, regards to the situation. I ended things because I was no longer going to carry this burden or this responsibility of you making me feel like I'm less than what the fuck I am. So keep watching. This ex is going to have to keep watching. These haters are going to have to keep watching because you're in love with someone new. You have feelings for someone new. You only want someone new. Okay, so... I mean, you're not saying anything. You're not saying anything to this person. You're not going to say anything. I mean, you think about this person as sometimes in, at a point in time in your life, but you don't want them back from your past. Like, if this person wasn't ready in the past, why would they be ready now? They just got to keep watching at this point because it's like you're over it. You're done. Like, you're done. You know, it's like... Yeah, they may try to come back, but there's nothing that you want back from your past. You're moving forward, and they still think that they can come back, but I doubt it. I highly fucking doubt it, because you know that this person is still deceptive. Like, I highly fucking doubt it. It's over. It's done. You're not fighting. It didn't go anywhere. They just gonna have to be stressed out. They're gonna have to just cry over you. What the fuck else do they want? If they came towards you after you told them not to... You're going to cuss them the fuck out. So I would advise them to just stop now because you want nothing to do with them. And they have to understand that you're moving on. Now, they're going to just have to be jealous because they know that you got a new lover coming in. You got money coming in. You got everything going in your way. You looking beautiful. And this motherfucker is stuck on you because you're letting them go and they're hurt by it. They're fucking furious. They're angry because they don't have control over you either. Ex-husband, baby fathers, karmic masculines, karmic soulmates. You want nothing back. I feel like, and then at the same time, they're stuck on the bad memories, like, because they're angry with themselves, but how are their bad memories? They're basically just saying, Sagittarius trying to let me go. It's not fair. It's not fair. Da -da 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 -da. I, sh I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. I just don't fucking deserve this. Some of you guys, like I said, if we're going back to the court case, this person cannot come to you or your children. They cannot come back. Like, this person doesn't understand that. There, There's no hope. If they try to come back, they will be ended. They will fucking go to jail. So they better stay the fuck away from you. While they're all angry and mad as fuck and trying to get hella aggressive and shit because this person fucked up. Oh fucking well. Oh fucking well. Oh fucking well. Sending negative energy your way. Not wanting shit to work out for you. Hating on you. But they better stop because it's not going to work whatever they fucking trying to do. Seriously, you're not fighting. You already got new in your energy. Why is this king of pentacles looking so nonchalant like this person's so unbothered? Who is this new lover? Who is this new lover? Like, this person focuses a lot on their money. But this person also acts like very nonchalant. I feel like this person has really cut something out or they've really went through some type of transformation. I don't think they're really... This person is not over they don't feel like things are over they just may not be speaking to you but they're like things are it's not over like i don't want to end things with you like this relationship's not over i'm just focusing more so on work right now you know so this is somebody whose main focus is work right now like this person's working very hard and it's like this person watches you this is somebody who's very obsessed with you like very obsessed you can clearly see that there's an obsession here but then you also got i feel like you also got new love. You know that this person is working very hard and not really focused on a relationship right now. For some of you, it doesn't mean this person doesn't want a relationship with you. It just means that this person's focusing on work right now. It's like this person definitely knows that you're the one that they want to be with. Um, this person has a very deep obsession with you. 
And it's like this person's watching all these people comp competing for you, and it's pissing this person off. I'm not going to lie to you. So it's like they know that they need to come in and offer you some type of commitment or some type of loyalty or some type of relationship, something you can work with. But they're so stressed out about it. They're so stressed out about it. And I feel like if they were to pursue you, they know how guarded you are. So it's like, fuck, what am I going to do? Like, I think you got two lovers stressing out right now. Because it's like the ex-lover who's mad as fuck that you won't have them back. And then it's this new lover who's like, fuck, I'm waiting, but it's not going anywhere. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, she's, she's literally defensive as hell or he's defensive as hell. Like, this person's like, this person watches you, knows that you hang out with your friends, know that you're always involved with your friends here, knows that you get a lot of attention or you have a lot of options here. But it's just like, I feel like... I feel like this is going to be very successful. Now, for some of you, if you, if you, um, so like if this person, if you feel like this person has options or this person's just not loyal or not faithful and you could have found out something that really made you lose hope in this connection and it's like, it's something that you can't get off of your mind and you feel like you made a bad decision because there was some feminine energy who revealed something to you that kept you stuck to get you to walk away from this person because they were going, yeah, this person was very manipulative um, so that they could fuck up this new beginning with you. If you went through that, that I just went through, then I understand 100%, completely, 100%. And you have to be strong. You have to be strong and secure in your decisions because there was this girl that I thought was, I'm going to explain my story to y'all. I'm going to explain my story to y'all on live because it's a deep story. So if y'all want to hear about it, come to my live video that I'm going to do after this. And I'm going to tell y'all about it because I don't, I'm telling y'all, it's fucked up, man. People are fucked up in this world and I hate it so much. All right, so let's see. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave y'all clarity and I'll see you guys later. Have a beautiful day. Bye.